Oh, oh my god, look at this, guys. Look at this gun. Hey, let me start. This is today's vlog. Today, we are opening uh, the cases, really old antique stuff that I have in my basement. Someone has me for a piece of paper that I need to find, and I don't know if I have it. So I'm going to go through that uh, boxes of really old stuff. But before that, I'm going to go to the construction store to make my own uh, budget studio lighting. And without further ado, let's go. All right, so we made it to the light section. Lots of choice. So this one here is pretty interesting, actually. All right, guys, so this is what we're gonna get. This one here, it's got 250 watts, $39, 5,000K. So I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy one of these here, like that thing here. It's got a clamp, so you can clamp it wherever you want. And I have a box at home that I used before for a photo shoot. I'm gonna use that as a diffuser, I think. And I think we should be all right to look at the box and have a good lighting. All right, guys, see you back home. I'm hoping that with these two things here, we're going to be able to create a good uh, lighting situation where things are going to look better, a little bit less noisy. We're going to do that over here. Open the box, see what's in there. So that's the lights. That's an LED light. All right, we're going to plug this thing. Woo! I'm blind. I am blind, guys. This thing is pretty, pretty strong. And I must look very, very good right now. Let me turn it off and see if it makes any difference. What do you think? That was before. That is after the LED light. 500 watt globe is on without diffuser. Just like that. I think it's not bad. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna keep that thing. All right, I just look at the video and obviously that was like a little bit too intense. So I'm putting that thing here, which is like a box diffuser type of thing that I bought a while ago. So I'm gonna use that as a diffuser. And how about now? It must look much better now. It's much more soft, I'm pretty sure, right? So this is what I'm gonna use for today. So this is with that kind of diffuser thingy. This without the diffuser. And this is like when the light is off. These are the box over there. So I have to go down there. There's about four or five boxes and I have to get them out, remove all of this in front first. So might take me a little bit, but we'll get there. So I've got four boxes where I think it might be. We're gonna go, go through these boxes, discover some artifacts, some really old stuff, and hopefully we'll find the paper we're looking for. I found that thing that has to be old. I can see that in a, in a house in 1900, I guess. All right, check this out. These are very old hard. I don't know what they are. They're very cool though. My grandmother must have kept them. It looks like they're a CB. So these are all very, very old CB. I guess there was the way they were keeping the uh, 16 mil, Mile Creek Bays tree, the, the old fireman. That's so cool. Look at that. The bus driver. Wow. I guess everybody had these things back then. And I have a whole box. Bill and Mike Chester below. Weatherman Street, Lockport, New York. I wonder if these still work. South Bend, Indiana. Dave Craig. Simcoe Street, Collingwood, Ontario. Love it. Look at all these design, Indiana. <laughs> what is that? That one's funny. Whoa, what the what? What? Snake Digger, Ontario. I, I can't figure out what that thing is on the back. Is that me? Is that an orange? Oh, ham bone on the top there. So I guess it's a ham. Oh, red squirrel from Snow Lake, Manitoba, Illinois. Illinois again. So I guess when they traveled, they've got some friends and they got their cards. Another Indiana. I'm definitely gonna go through that because I found it very, very interesting. These are really old, uh, how do you call that? You know the thing that women wear? You can see through, I can't remember the name. These things, you, you get it, right? These things. These are very old one. Twin Knits, China. I got a really old book, Montreal Street Guide. This is very cool too. You got all the information about Montreal, where things, how to get there, 
Um, and you know what's interesting too is like the oh this one here you can get a loan for twenty dollar uh, on your own signature. That's really cool. And what I found very interesting too was their phone number. Phone number was only four digit, so the telephone number was three one two one. So easy to remember. Twenty first edition. I don't see the nineteen fifty. Lovells Montreal Street guys. I got a a ruler here from Loney's, not chocolate milk. And that one is really cool too. It's a 1906, cost $1.70 or 170. I'm not too sure. 1906, what it could have been. I guess it's 170 uh, for two candles. Well, that makes no sense. $20 for two candles. And the grave was a 150 or 150. I'm not sure. Anyhow. And this one is a really, very, very old book. It's all about like Jesus and prayer and like that was must have been my mom, I suppose. But they were pretty image in there and it's very old. I can't tell how old it is because there's no date on it anywhere. I don't have the back cover or the front cover, but this is a beautiful book. All right, so that's all for the first box. Well, I'm still have some stuff. Oh my God, look at this guys. Look at this gun. That might be interesting. Look at this gun. This gun is a Gerstes. It's a Gerstenberger and uh, a Berwin, Germany. Eb, eb, eber, eberwin. Gerstenberger and Eberwin. I don't know. I don't think it's a real gun. It looks like it shoot pellets. Oh, yeah. I think you put them here. Well, look at that. That is old gun. That's for sure. Model 6. Well, look at this. How cool is this? Convenient. Never know when you're gonna need this, huh? All right, so anyway, that's a, a pellet gun. I, I'm pretty sure that's not a real gun. So just be careful anyway. <laughs> this has been in there for a long time, right? I doubt that there's anything in it. I'll leave it here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna keep going through that. If there's anything else, I'll show you. All right, I found this box. Let's see what's in this box here. Ooh, it's Jesus made out of wax, guys. They don't make these anymore. I think they used to make that a lot back then. Like, it's a little wax Jesus. I don't know what his hair is made of. I just found something very interesting. I have no idea what this is. Maybe you guys know what it is. What is this? Oh, it goes the other side. What is this? Is there a brand? There's no brand. I can't find anything. It looks like a paper. It's like to open paper, I suppose, but they're very cute. Look at this. There's no name on it though. I don't know what the brand is. And there's no brand on the box either. Hey guys, I found these and they're very kind of creepy but cute at the same time. I don't know what they are. Why are they in a box like this? I have no idea. And there's this guy too. There's a boy and a girl. Why are they in there? All right, guys, found a very old watch. Tradition in Cablock. I think they were sold at Sears back in the time. Um, kind of old. Anyhow. Oh, wow, look at that one. That's a lighter. Really fancy. Look at this. I like this and then well obviously it's not working now what is that you're like coupon for what irish ops irish hospital sweepstake lincoln limited dublin what the heck is this thing guys that's interesting i got two coupon i don't know why that would be my grandmother. And why was she at the Irish hospital? I have no idea. 1968. And it came with that thing here. Little. All right, I'll leave it there. If you guys have any idea what this could be, let me know if you have any idea what this is. Another wax figurine. It's not the same as before. It's a different one. All right, so this is the war medal of my grandfather that was awarded after the war. He took off the ribbon and put it on the chain for uh, my mother, I suppose. I think she was probably wearing it. So that's the uh, 1939-45. It was awarded to all soldier uh, after the war that has participated in the war or the Navy for more than 28 days, apparently. So um, yeah, that's what it is. So all the Commonwealth soldier had received that. Um, that metal. Everything's on the floor. I'm gonna put things back in there and we're gonna switch to the next box. That is me when I was, 
I think five or six. That clown here is very creepy. What were they thinking? Oh, wow. That is a picture of my grandfather. Wow, I didn't know we had that. That is very cool. Never seen it. So that's me in third grade a little bit later. And that's also me in the calendar. Me and my chubby years. And the last box, I found these really creepy doll. Hey, hello, my name is Alfred. My name is Alfred. There's also this Asian woman. There's an Asian doll. These. This girl. And the last one is that woman here. It's too bad I didn't find anything. I was hoping to find it in uh, one of these boxes, really. I have no idea where it went. Maybe I threw it out. I really have no idea. I'm, I'm really... Uh, I was really hoping to find it. It really, uh, you know how you feel when you think you're going to find something and you kind of a little bit disappointed. But anyhow, that's the way it is. All right, we got everybody in the car. <laughs> Woohoo! That was a weekend. Woohoo! Guys, try to guess what we're eating for dinner. Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, burrito. We got a cheese. What's going on there? What are you doing? What are you doing? Table. You're a table? Yeah. That is a weird thing to do. You are no, so cute. We got the cheese. We got a burrito. We got all the food. Let's wrap it up and let's go eat. What's happening? Something happened in the kitchen? What could have happened in the kitchen? What happened here? What are you doing, Gap? Gabby, what are you doing? <laughs> Did you hear me? What's going on? Dude, it's nine o'clock. What are you doing with your headphone making cereals? Yeah, so I don't care. Well, I do care. You're going to sleep soon. And do you think it's enough milk? Guys, this is crazy. This is not even real sugar. This is powdered sugar, guys. What is going on here? Do you need this or you're done with this? You still need it? And what is this here? This is not even brown sugar. This is graham crackers. All right, this is crazy. What is going on here? Gabby did that on the floor there? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have it clean. Gabby, I didn't hear you. Thank you. You need to clean your mess here, okay? That's what you did. I'm not the one who did that. Well, uh, Shala just told me you did that. Shala, did you do that? Yeah, you did it now. No, we didn't. You're the one that made it drop. No, we didn't. You, he pulled it out and then it fell in. Well, I'm not. Well, you're gonna have to clean it now, okay? It's not well, it doesn't matter. You can clean it. You're a big boy, right? You're having cereals at nine o'clock at night. Then you're big enough to clean this, okay? You're not going back to your game until this is clean. Oh, look, does it work really well? What? All right, China. How's your cereals? So you decided to eat cereals like your brother at nine o'clock at night? Like, it doesn't matter? I, uh, is that what you call clean? How are you gonna finish it up? Finish it up with this pickup. And the floor, and the gloves too, put the gloves back. And start up, pick up the scissors, put on the floor, put it back yourself. Yes, you did. All right, put it back in there. Uh, Gab, 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 this is a terrible job. Seriously, clean it properly. I gave you all the tools and don't put it back on the table. You just wash the floor. Get there we go. Okay, when we make a mess, we clean it. Okay, look, move this. Look, there we go. When we make a mess, we clean it. Okay, buddy? All right, thank you. Now I have one more thing. You have to pick up the box of cereal over there. I don't know why it's there. Oh, you put it right down here and that's okay? All right, thanks, buddy. It's out of control, but it's Friday night. Friday night, we're allowed to party.
because we work really hard all week. So on Friday night, we pay ourselves a little treat. How'd you like my new lighting system? Thanks. All right, guys, so we're done for tonight. This is the end of this vlog. If you liked it, subscribe down below. If you didn't like it, still subscribe down below. That'll help me. Give me a good thumbs up, comments. And if you have questions, if you have any information about the things that we found in these uh, box, let me know. That's not a thing that I'm going to do every day, but uh, that's something I had to do today. So I think it was fun. I think there was some cool stuff in there. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I love you. Keep smiling. Be happy. And now go back to do what you were doing before. Thank you. Have a nice day. What's happening there? That bouncy ball is mine. Is that the blue ball? No. What is it? It's a yellow ball. Well, we have tons of these balls downstairs. Why do you have to fight for one ball? Because we lost them all. <laughs>